a new device that claims to be the future of Bitcoin mining, simply dubbed RIG on their website. A name that I wanted to name my son, but Alexa had the audacity to say no. Yo, I'm Bosk. You're on the Bosk Queen YouTube channel. Let's dig this new miner. Is it worth the hype? Getting lots of questions about it. It's getting a lot of buzz. Is this what the future of Bitcoin mining looks like? Or is it going to be a poor investment? A proto rig endorsement by Russell? I know Russell. We walked around Core Scientific together before they went bankrupt. But don't get it twisted. They may have filed for bankruptcy, but they've been mining the whole time, even amidst all that turmoil. And where this picture is taken, I was there. Or at least in a at least in a different piece of their facility that looked the exact same. But I believe that we walked right down this corridor. I mean, here's us right there in the beginning just when it was being born and he didn't really even want to film in there too much because they believed it was a proprietary airflow design it's so crazy seeing this and having been there or been to a, basically the other corridor and basically it's the same and uh it, and it's just cool it's, it's wild like I've, I've been doing this for a long time like going on 10 years and watching things develop and getting out there some and like just you know getting boots on the ground and going places like this and like the time we spent up in Canada touring the digital shovel facility. I mean, it's just really cool. I my Bitcoin pretty seriously, at least from my point of view, uh, this is the majority of my Bitcoin miners. And most of these are ran myself. We've been expanding our Bitcoin mining hash rate here on the Vosco mining farm. And also uh, through some hosting facilities, more on that another time. This is the Proto Rig Bitcoin Miner placeholder pricing here of $7,999. I don't know if that pricing really makes sense. It's either going to absolutely shake the entire Bitcoin mining world by far, or it's going to be priced so much more. For example, here's Bitmain's next leading Bitcoin miner, the S23 priced here. You can order this, right? This is a real price. So this is ASIC Marketplace, by the way. They're uh, ASIC minor reseller uh, we have an affiliate link more importantly we have a coupon code code boss coin to save some coin better than the uh, discount code that they put there on their page 318 terahash a second of bitcoin mining power right like horsepower for a car 3500 watts of power consumption to do that like miles per gallon uh, fuel efficiency there we look at the uh, bitcoin mining profitability of the proto rig according to mn 819 terahash a second right 12,000 watts of power, 14.65 joules or watts per terahash of Bitcoin mining efficiency. That would result in about $47 a day in Bitcoin mined. But at seven cents per kilowatt hour, you would be responsible for a $20 a day electricity bill, right? That's over $7,000 a year. Contrasting that with the S23 that I just mentioned, substantially higher efficiency here 11 joules or watts per terahash so looking at this 18 dollars of bitcoin mined lower hash rate much lower electricity bill of about six dollars pocketing 12. so i could buy two s23s and make about 25 dollars or i could mine with this and make about 27 dollars and that's calculated that electricity rate you obviously got to plug in your own numbers and figure it out and go from there on a fun note, when are you gonna mine your own Bitcoin block with this hardware, uh, with uh, this data? So what is the S23, 314, uh, 318? 318 terash a second would give you a one in 55 chance to hit a Bitcoin block over the next year, according to Sololuck, the best Bitcoin solo mining calculator in the world ever. No, they didn't pay me to say that. We made it to pay attention. Uh, what's uh, the proto rig, 819? A 1 in 22 chance, that's crazy. You buy 10 of them, you've got a 1 in 3 chance to hit a Bitcoin block solo mining. You earn $350,000, more importantly, over 3.125 Bitcoin if you were to do that. So look, there's other data on here, right? Network hash rate, fees, uh, block time, next halving, right? And we're about two years, a little bit more, two years and a couple months away from the next Bitcoin halving. That's where the Bitcoin mining rewards are going to be cut in half. 
currently the time of recording this video uh there's about 55 million dollars of bitcoin mined every day transaction fees are essentially at like a two-year low uh which is really negatively impacting bitcoin mining profitability bitcoin is also hitting a network high hash rate it's more difficult literally than ever to mine some bitcoin however bitcoin is trading at very high prices one hundred and eleven thousand dollars plus per coin and this is after retracing some uh, so that's obviously here bolstering a lot of the mining rewards based on all of this I don't think this is gonna be the price and if it is the price that's gonna be crazy big miners make big heat they make big noise and to be honest sometimes they can just be a big headache to have in your house but maybe you want to earn some coin mining. Well, then check out Musk Miners. Musk Miners supports the Boscoin YouTube channel. They can get you hardware and get it deployed on their mining farm. And I've got some rigs deployed with them as well. And it's been pretty sweet to just basically swipe the card and have some more Bitcoin mining hash rate. Link out below. Uh, one thing of note I should say is you look at something like the S21 Plus that device is closer in efficiency to um, the, the device we're discussing All right so we look at this and the efficiency uh, for this i guess it's a little worse than i thought offhand so 16.5 the proto rig obviously better uh, by a decent margin there so we take this right and that's 216 terahash a second 216 right times four is 864 all right, so we take 3149 times four, and that would be 12 and a half grand. All of this points to the Proto Rig probably being more expensive. But finally, let's talk like actually more about the Proto Rig and we'll kind of double back and see like, is this probably gonna be worth it or not? Uh, all of the other risk factors aside, right? So, I mean, this, this is the device, this is their homepage, and there's some very interesting information uh, to break down on this. So the whole thing is it's supposed to be good quality, right? It's supposed to be efficient, but above all, it's standout feature is being modular. It boasts industry leading 9.4 kilowatts per foot. So basically that means density, right? For like your literal rack space, you cannot deploy more Bitcoin mining power than you can with their product. 14.1 joules or watts per terahash, air cooled, right? So immersion cooled, which this is ready for out of the box, apparently, uh, should be theoretically better. And you can make on rack repairs in under 90 seconds. Huh, well, I'd love to see it. So tool free here, uh, pull and replace the fan module. So this is one of the most common things to break, right? Bad hash board, or you wanna upgrade hash boards or whatever, pull them out, slide them in. Uh, the power supply, is surprisingly fanless and it utilizes three-phase power balancing for efficient infrastructure and based on that verbiage that probably means this won't be uh, able to be deployed on single phase electricity right so you're going to need a true three-phase industrial grade electrical setup to run this hardware if you want to get a, one of these which one would be a lot fully built out i mean it's the equivalent of like you know, two, three, four, right, current generation Bitcoin miners. Uh, you're not gonna be able to run that in your house, not here in the US of A. Easy access control board for quick swaps. And look look at that, look at that graphic. Did you notice how that fan piece basically just pops out? I mean, that is like a toolless design. You see that? There's nothing in the industry that works like this. The only thing that's been close to this at all is actually the obelisk miners, which came, made huge waves, and then essentially imploded. Fewer fans, fewer failures, open source firmware, software, and APIs. You can upgrade the hash board, dynamic LED, and software alerts. Notice these pictures over here. And like I mentioned, air-cooled and immersion ready. Uh, fans come pre-installed for quick deployment for merger setups. You just remove the fans and that's it. You're done. 
They also boast that you only need six fans to cool this footprint, and if you had this much uh, footprint or hash or basically Bitcoin deployment, you'd be looking at about 21 fans. And that's more parts, that's more costs, that's more potential failure. But can they really make up for that difference, right, with this? This whole LED and software alert is fascinating to me, and there's so much room for improvement on that front in the industry. So obviously I'd love to see that. A lot of the hype on this is like, oh, it's replaceable, it's modular. It's like, let, let me just tell you this straight up. Like uh, at the end of the day, like nobody gives a shit about like, oh, I reused the case. Would I like to? Probably, sure. But the competitors, if they just undercut it, like I'm not gonna pay a premium, right? Just to not throw away a silver box every couple of years. I don't care. Uh, I'm spending money to make money. I'm spending coin to make coin, right? If I put one Bitcoin into this, I want to get more than one Bitcoin out of it, right? That's a return on the investment. That's a good move. That's a play. Uh, they compare this to, right, full system, hashboard upgrade, hashboard upgrade, full system replacement, full system replacement. This is marketing. This is bullshit. We will see. If nothing else, they may very well lower the cost per hash in the industry, but I don't know. I, I don't know what their manufacturing capabilities are like, and is their product actually good, and will it really hold up? And at the end of the day, how can I really afford to buy and deploy their hardware if their competitors will be making much more efficient Bitcoin mining rigs? And then imagine they price them competitively, right? This company, depending on Bitcoin's price, could actually have a really rough time. But don't take it as I'm hating. I'd love for them to be successful. I like this. This is cool. This makes sense. This seems like an evolution of a Bitcoin miner, not just simply more of the same, which I'll happily speak for everyone. We're a little tired of that, right? Look at the simple basic design, right? We got a box. Got the control boards on top, the power supplies on the bottom, the fans on the front and the back here as well. And it looks simple, effective, quality, and nice. Also, I would just like to highlight that one of the shittiest things that has consistently happened in the mining industry is that these devices are absurdly priced from the manufacturers that enrich themselves by selling shovels to the gold miners in the gold rush. They make out like bandits. The actual miners take all the risk and don't always make out very well. And you don't even get a freaking power cable. Well, congrats. You get power cables when you buy the proto rig. And I want to say it louder for the people in the back. I like that. That's cool. That's how it should be. And simply put, good job. One year warranty, that's nice. I hope it's actually like executed well. I have a one year warranty on my shit main miners. And I have a miner that's basically never worked. I have a miner that I had to raise like five tickets to finally get back. I have another miner that I've been waiting on for months again. This is unrelated to all the other things I've complained about. And they won't just get back to me and either fix it and send it back to me under warranty or even just send me a bill and give me some BS reason why it's not covered. Uh, whatever, it's uh, it's just, it's it's tiring, man. And they have extended warranties as an optional add-on. I'd be curious to review that because I could see that actually being potentially a really good investment depending on the hardware and the life cycle and your facility deployment, right? Something of importance to me, no fees, right? Everything looks better, but then they make it back on the back end with a 5% fee. Well, that would be, that would suck. That'd be kind of scammy. Doesn't seem to be uh, the case here. I pulled up this hash rate index article because I was trying to find out some helpful information and I was just really disappointed to see that like as I scaled through this, it just kind of seemed like an advertisement. Like, is this sponsored? Uh, because all it does is just recite the information on their website, but here it is like as an article with, with no like, you know, maybe this is why like I make my content the way I do and some people love me or they hate me and I don't give a f uh, whether you love or hate me. And that also reinforces who I am and how I operate, but it's like, Where's like the opinion? Where's the, where's like the honest review? Like, like I don't, I don't need an article with this. This is all the information that's on their website. And, th and there just doesn't seem to be anything that's additional or helpful. Like maybe like even just some clarity on like, can this work on single phase electricity? 
or is it only three phase electricity as it states 208 to 240 voltage and three phase power balancing right i mean there's just nothing nothing of note here um and i haven't mentioned this yet in the in the uh video but uh, you may already know this if you've seen anything about this, and obviously it's it's going to be on their website as well. But the fact that Block um, is basically behind this, it's Block's proto team. It's just annoying, man. I'm not trying to be a hater, but this it's bored, wasting my time. It's frustrating to feel like I, like it, it's weird. Like sometimes I Google shit and I and I and I look it up with AI and I search it whatever, and like I just come back to me, and and it's just. Maybe my search terms hit like how I think and write sometimes, and we're also like on the bleeding edge of something, so we're the only ones that, you know, have even been there before, you know, more or less you could call it that. Uh, but just need a general raise, and, and if nothing else, like critical thinking, right? If I need something with no input, no personality, we've got AI for that. Um, so, proto rig. We'll see. It's cool, cool design, cool concept, efficiency. Disappointing, but still like relevant. How many can they make? How good will they be? Will their support actually be any good? Uh, to be honest, for people like me and you, it probably doesn't matter. Like they, like you're probably not really gonna get many of these. They're gonna be sold out in big batches to the big publicly traded mining farms because Bitcoin mining sucks more and more every year, uh, and that's the reality of it. And my only way out long-term viability is just gonna be solar power. And my end game at this point with how shitty my power company is, I'm thinking about just setting everything up and all the gear runs when the sun's up and it shuts down when the sun goes down, right? And just straight running on my own power, can't miss. And above all, that would be really relevant with older hardware, right? Like S19s, uh, they make, I don't know, five, six, seven bucks a day. Right, and then they're depending like on my electricity, right? They're burning like five dollars, five six dollars a day or something. The point is like earning five plus dollars a day with a hundred rigs. That's like really interesting. Earning five dollars a day with a hundred rigs, but then also paying five dollars with a hundred different rigs in electricity. Not exciting. I'm, I'm treading water, right? I only can potentially utilize this in like a tax advantage. But I'm Vosker on the Vosker on YouTube channel. This is the overview and breakdown of the Proto Rig. It's too early to call. It's cool. Love to see more. I'm happy to see more products. I'm happy to see more competitions. I like the concept. I like the design. I'm not all caught up in the reuse bullshit, right? A lot of that's rooted in propaganda, whatever. TBD, we'll see. But uh, Swedish uh, got a delivery. I got a whiny pup, and she needs to go outside anyway. So, on that note, 10 seconds of tails, which we run on, of course, every video. And uh, appreciate you. I'll see you on the next one.